Hello there, Ray here, and today I will be showing you how you can break bedrock in versions 1.8.3 and upwards using beds. Now I will give you a demonstration of it working. We are here in the end. I will take this night vision potion on top of a glass platform up in the air. Down below I have built something. In the distance I have the ender dragon about dead in unloaded chunks. And now we will load the ender dragon up and then head back to the center of the platform. Now the Ender Dragon is loaded. We'll head back to the center and wait for him to attack. Now we'll try to have him break most of the glass and then kill him. Try not to die ourselves. And now we will wait for the exit end portal to generate down here. Now with our pickaxe in hand, we can remove these power sources. This will allow the pistons to retract and it will break the bedrock. The way it works is by using these headless pistons. This headless piston is actually just like this piston, except it's missing its head. And since it's just like this piston, if you retract it, or remove the power from it, it will pull its head in. Just as this one will pull its head in too. Also removing the block that is above it. The way these headless pistons are created is actually very normal in the game. When a piston is powered, it will go through its stages and will end up in this stage which the piston is extended. Before the piston can be fully extended, it actually comes in this stage which is the piston base and the piston extension in front of it. This piston extension is invisible and you are unable to place blocks there. The way we get these piston bases without the piston head in front of them is that we extend the piston and then when it gets into this stage or has a piston extension in front of it, we remove this piston extension and then we'll be left with the piston base with air in front of it. This will allow us to place blocks. This is where the bed comes in. If you try to sleep in a bed, in the end or the nether, it will cause an explosion greater than that of TNT. The explosion comes from the head piece of the bed. So at the correct distance and the right amount of timing, you should be able to break off the piston extension. The way I did this is by placing the foot of the bed two meters above a piston. And then back here I have some delay so that after I pull the switch and I spam on the iron door, after a delay the door will open and the piston will extend and I will happen to click on the bed the same time as the piston is extending and this will allow us to break the extension off. You're not limited to just using beds. Any type of explosion can work if you have the right distance and the right timing. There are also some methods which you don't even have to use explosions for. This method was shown by test127E29. With this method we create a clock. This clock will actually be on and then it will turn off for one game tick. This allows the piston to continually extend. The idea is that we can start breaking the piston head and there will be a chance that we break the piston head exactly as it is going through its extension phase and this will allow us to have the piston head removed and then we'll have this piston over here powered and he will come in and block and prevent this piston from extending again. This does take several tries to get correctly. There you have it. Now if we just power this piston, we can unpower this piston and remove the power and it will stay in this state until we unpower it. There is one major downside to using these types of pistons. Since this piston thinks he's just like this piston, he cannot be moved even though he is just one block. In order to create these piston bases, the piston must be extending. Therefore, the block above piston base must be air. Therefore you cannot place these piston bases up against pre-existing bedrock. These types of pistons do cause block updates. Since the exit end portal is always generated at the same Y level and the location depends on where you kill the dragon, I was able to predict where to place all of these piston bases. This bedrock breaking method is limited to the exit end portal only. You can break any bedrock on the sides and any bedrock underneath of it. Although it's not incredibly useful, you could create a home for all your wither friends 
using this bedrock breaking method. You could also use this bedrock breaking method to remove the rim of the exit end portal, allowing you to build some aesthetic structure for your exit. With 1.9 release coming, there are sure to be some changes to the Ender Dragon fight and maybe even the Withers as well. So I thought I would show you this bedrock breaking method before that update. There you have it guys, a piston that can break any block and a way for you guys to exercise your right to break bedrock. If you found this interesting, show me with a like. If you enjoy content like this, be sure to subscribe and don't forget to comment. Bye bye.